am Fixer, and welcome to Test Drive, where we take a game out for a spin to get a first impression. And today I'm going to kick the tires off a new game called Unforeseen Incidents. So this is a classic point-and-click adventure that was developed by Backwoods Entertainment and published by Application Systems Heidelberg. They were kind enough to provide me a key for this video, and they did ask that I only show the first chapter, which is why I'm doing a test drive on this. So after this video, you're not going to see any more of it on my channel, even if I really like the game. Alright, so before I get started, I wanted to say that I, I follow like 600 devs on my Twitter account. Some of them I've been following for quite a long time, and this was one of them. I, I don't remember. I probably saw this on like a screenshot Saturday or something like that. And I saw a screenshot, and the art style was gorgeous. I followed the dev, and I've been following them for a very long time. I love the art style. That's what drew me to the game, first of all. And it's a point-and-click adventure, which is my jazz, so it seems like a perfect marriage to me. Let's start a new game. BWET Talk Radio. It's 5.30 p.m. You're listening to Backwoods Radio. This is Bobby. And the Duke. Coming to you live from the Seagull Stadium in beautiful Port Nicola. Our top story today is still the outbreak in Yelltown. Tell us about that, Duke. An area of farmland outside Yelltown is still in quarantine one week after the deaths of three people with fever-like symptoms. Senator Sylvia Thurlow, head of the Bureau of Public Health, gave a press conference earlier today. Let me reassure the people of Yelltown that the risk of contagion is very, very small. Mm -hmm. However, if you do experience a high fever, nosebleeds, or coffin fits, please stay calm, stay where you are, and call the RHC emergency hotline on triple one, triple one. That number again, triple one, triple one. I hope our listeners in Yelltown are feeling fit and healthy because you do not want to miss tonight's big game. That's right, Bobby. Port Nicholas Seagulls versus my team, the Blue Ridge Raccoons. Nice. Raccoons suck. Go, go. Damn. <laughs> Whichever team you support, the atmosphere here in the stadium really is electric. Get up. I love this art style. Look how gorgeous it is. Hello? Harper, it is Rupert. Professor McBride, how are you? Not great, actually. There's a problem with my laptop. That's a very familiar phrase. I know, I know, but it won't charge. And I'm right in the middle of processing some crucial data. I'm supposed to be driving over to Port Nicola today and... Say no more, Professor. I'll grab my multi-tool from upstairs and be right over. <laughs> oh, thank you, Harper. Uh, no problem. See you soon. My multi-tool. It fixes batteries on laptops. All right, well, let's go grab that, I suppose. I love this art style. This is... This is so cool. What is that? Pants. My extensive wardrobe. I have exactly two pairs of pants. Oh, sounds like me. I decided to cover up the window. Sunlight makes it real hard to sleep during the day, you know? Sounds like me! My old Gigamaster family entertainment system. I lost too many hours on the old GFES. This guy is me! Oh my god. I used to draw stupid designs for machines all the time. If I'd ever built them, I think they would have mostly exploded. Gotcha. Where's my multi-tool? Is this it? My trusty 40-watt chisel tip Langham soldering iron. You need a good soldering iron if you want to tinker with electronics. That is not me. Um, oh. What's this? Inventory probably? Okay. Where's my multi-tool? Radio? That's right, ladies. It's my ham radio. Hey, Harper. We love you. Your ham radio is so cool. Calm yourselves, ladies, please. It's very Cartman-esque. Okay, um... Can I? Can I really? Oh, neat! Oh, this is cool! I don't know if I just turn these willy-nilly, or am I going to get, like... Did I just change something? I don't think I did. Or am I going to get, like... Notes later on... on oh, oh! There's something. I'm going to get notes later on on, on on what I can tune to. I don't know. These look like the same things, though, right? I don't know. I don't know how any of that 
stuff works. All right, how do I exit up? There we go. Um, bed. Oh, my multi tool's right on the ground. Did I hover over that before? There it is. Good old multi tool. Let's go fix the professor's computer. Spacebar. All right, my multi tool is up at the top. Spacebar lets me. Okay, so this shows me all the things I can interact with. Aha. Me, mom, and Calvin when I was a high school freshman. That would have been about six months before she passed away. Oh. Some of these are really old. I should probably throw them out. All right, let's go, buddy. Oh my gosh, there's so many things. <sighs> Memories of better times. Okay. Nah, nothing useful in there. Glue! Huh, glue. Always useful. It is indeed. But I looked. An old photo of Mom and Calvin in Greystone Woods. Yeah, I think I took that one. In Yelltown, the weather can get pretty rough come winter. Folk like their coats. What's with these really weird names? They have this old-timey photo booth at the state fair. Mom, me, and Calvin got all dressed up in costume. Good times. Yelltown, backwoods. I think Calvin left most of these coats behind when he moved out west. Well, they're mine now. Yeah, screw Calvin. Bad news, as usual. Ugh, I should clean this place. Yeah, I was about to say tomorrow. Buddy. That TV will never work again. But but I can't just throw it out. There's a spider living in there. A lot of old stuff. I like old stuff. Okay. Fair enough. <sighs> yeah, I'm wasting too much time looking at these lately. I think I got everything. Uh, I may have missed one of these. I suppose I could get rid of all this junk, in theory, but I'd prefer to keep collecting more. <sighs> Memories of better times. He's not quite a hoarder. I mean, I was getting a hoarder feel, but look, he's got a floor that you can see. So maybe not too much of a hoarder. All right, what do we got here? What are these posters on the wall? I can't stop. He's just walking. His um his walking animation is very reminiscent of Monkey Island 3. Which I absolutely loved, by the way. I mean Monkey Island 1 is the classic, but um I'm not controlling him. He's he's doing all this walking himself, by the way. But 3, I got a soft place in my heart for 3. Hey there. Hi. Oh, Harper. Thank goodness you're here. Come in. What's the trouble, Professor? That blasted battery is trying to murder me. You know, for a scientist, you don't always... It will not charge. And I'm in the middle of modeling the latest data from my research team. It's been processing all night. If I lose power now, I'll have to start over. I need this analysis for a very important presentation at PNU tomorrow. Can you fix it? No. Uh, what's the presentation about? What's the presentation about? It's my analysis of factors leading up to the recent outbreak. Yelltown fever? Yes. No. Well, the trouble is, we don't really know what kind of disease it is yet. The Dean of Medicine asked me to address the virology department tomorrow. We're hoping my research might help fight whatever killed those people. Okay. Um... Can you find your nose? Yeltsin fever? Yeah, is it dangerous? Is Yelltown fever really that dangerous? I'm afraid so. The little brute seems to be acutely virulent. By all accounts, it kills in a matter of hours, not days. Jeez, hours? What if I've got it? You'd know, Harper. I'm told symptoms start appearing immediately after infection. Well, that's wow. good. Those poor people. Don't lose hope, son. There's still time to contain it and prevent an epidemic. Isn't that usually the problem with epidemics with uh, with long incubation periods people start spreading it before they know they got it if it's happening right away then that should be relatively easy to deal with right isn't the government dealing with it ah, yes they've placed us in the benevolent hands of the rancho health corporation i good. thought rhc said everything was under control that's how you know they're cacking their pants harper see i know these people and i know they'll struggle to fight this disease without my input 
Very confident about himself. Can you find a cure? Uh, it's not quite as simple as finding a cure. But if anyone can beat this thing, it's my research team at PNU. They're the best in the country. All we need is a sample of the bugger. So anyway... <laughs> yeah, I hope you don't expect me to get that. All right, let's let's poke our nose around. Hey, Professor. Want to listen to the radio? No. You can't get away from that blasted soccer game. You mean football game. I don't care if it's topless cheese rolling, Harper. A distraction's a distraction. Topless cheese rolling? No reason rolling. to snoop around the Professor's stuff. What do you mean there's no reason? Ah, what the Harper, hell? Stop that. All right, I'm a little obnoxious. <sighs> it's a nice evening in Yelltown. Maybe I should take the cardboard off my window. There's the laptop. I don't want to touch it just yet. <sighs> it's a nice evening in Yelltown. No reason to snoop around the professor's stuff. Whatever. Lab supplies, glassware, and <clears throat> a lot of dusty academic stuff. Let's take a look here. Is that is that exposed wiring? There's your problem, Professor. The power cable's frayed. Yeah. Dash and blast! How did I miss that? Yeah, it's no biggie. I can patch it up with my multi-tool and some electrical tape. Oh, good. Yes, I'm sure I have some electrical tape somewhere. Uh, leave it with me, Professor. Now I can snoop. Hmm, no electrical tape in here. Just some dusty old vinyl records. Those are classic blues pressings, Harper. Remember, you used to listen to them on my old turntable. It's 2017, Professor. I listen to tapes now. No electrical tape here either. Why do you have so much junk? Junk? Out of interest, how tidy is your place right now? But I'm broke. You could use your sweet university dollar to hire a cleaner. Ha! Ah. This reminds me of when I used to help you out in the lab when I was a kid. Maybe we have different understandings of the word help. Oh, he's throwing shade. All right, drawers. Ah, here's the electrical tape. Excellent. It's Can you pink. fix a laptop now? Hopefully. Settle down. The cable is frayed in the middle. Probably eroded. I need to strip and splice it, then insulate it somehow. Um, use multi. Oh wait, what? Oh, holy cow! Look at this. Um, all right, we could strip it with uh, these. My multi-tool. Did that not work? The cable is. Fr I need to strip and. Sp oh, right-click speeds things along. Okay, I like the sound of that. How do I? Ah, uh, like this. Okay, I'll strip the cable and remove the frayed wire. Now, let's get splicey. <laughs> Looking good. And... Some insulation tape. This should help fix the power adapter. What? Okay, let's make this safe-ish. All right, let's plug this baby in. Okay, she's charging now, Professor. Oh, you're a lifesaver, Harper. How much do I owe you? This one's on me. But a guy as smart as you shouldn't have to call the village idiot every time his laptop goes kablooey. Harper, I hate to hear you do yourself down like that. You're not the village idiot. I really appreciate your help. Sure thing. Anytime. All right, my work is done here. The laptop is charging nicely. Thanks again, Harper. No problem, sir. Professor? Yes? Are we safe here? Are we safe here in Yelltown? I know it seems scary. Emergency measures, the treatment camp, but there's no reason to panic. So far, there are very few confirmed cases. Okay, I won't panic. Yet. See ya. Goodbye, Harper. Peachy. All right, uh, space bar. Did I? I didn't get this drawer. No need to snoop around here anymore. Ah. I think I got, oh, not the telescope. Hey, this telescope is pointing right at Mrs. Denman's bedroom window. Oh, boy. What? No, it isn't. It is. You can see right through the net curtains. Harper, you're not too old for me to give you a hiding. <laughs> okay. Okay. What was that? I can go over here? Oh, that is the exit. Gotcha. Let's check out these posters then.
RHC emergency paramedics are here to protect your health, but why are they dressed like evil spacemen? And why are they putting posters all around the city like that? The Eagle by Cardero. And that statue has been standing here for years, frightening children. Fair enough. Are we heading back home then? I, I assume so. I want to explore the town. What oh. The... I guess this is exploring the town. Um. Sample time? Can I get a sample without getting infected? Hello? Can I not click on her? Oh. oh. Jesus, are you alright? Get out of here. Leave me alone. But you need a doctor, or... Wait a minute. Is it... Is it the fever? Please. <laughs> Please. Get away from me. Uh-oh. Um... I can't just leave you here. I have to keep going. Keep going? Are you crazy? We, we need to get you to a hospital. Don't come near me. The, bl <laughs> the blood? The blood? Oh, Jesus. How does she know the blood's contagious? What should I do? I know where I'm going. Just <laughs> forget you saw me. Um... I'm going to call RHC. No, not RHC. But you need a doctor. But you need a doctor. I just need you to leave me alone. Um... RHC might be able to help you. I don't want their help. I'm going to call them. Please, don't. All right, well, um, I guess I'm not calling them. I'm gonna go look at this car. What a piece of junk. Hey, wait a minute. That's Professor McBride's car. Something's not right. I better tell the professor. Jake's compressor. These things are expensive. Jake wouldn't leave it lying around unless he wasn't planning to come back. He bolted. Wait, there's two ways to go? Which way did I come from? I don't even remember. Was it this way or that way? Good Lord, Harper! What are you doing out there? Huh? Mrs. Olsen! Can't you see that woman sick? Call the hotline! Um... She says she wants to be left alone. Don't joke with me, son. I'd call whatchamacallit myself if it wasn't for my sciatica. She's on death's door. Make the call. How is a sciatica stopping her from calling? I have sciatica and I can use a phone just fine. We shouldn't. She doesn't want RHC's help. Saints preserve us. If you won't call them, I will. You just said you wouldn't. You just leave the poor girl there, sciatica or no sciatica. Uh, whoa, wait, wait up, Mrs. Olsen. Moron! No! Uh-oh. Did I just screw up? She's <laughs> leading them right to me. That was kind of the point, right? Try to calm down, miss. Shut up and listen. <laughs> if they find you with me, they'll take you in for testing, too. T testing? But I'm not infected. If they take you, you'll end up watching the big game from a body bag. Okay. But but am I infected? If you do what I tell you, at least we have a chance. Um, uh, what do you want me what to do? What do you want me to do? Go to the hotel. Find Hallowell. Find who? Reporter for the Times. Give the envelope. Envelope? What envelope? In the backpack. This, this is crazy. I... Take it, please. <laughs> uh, okay. Take it to Hellowell. Tell no one else. Okay, okay. I promise. Only <laughs> Hellowell. They're coming. Go now. <laughs> How do you know they're coming? I don't see them. The sciatica didn't stop her. There she is. Please go. 
Anyone there? Uh oh. I'm out. I'm out. That's the end of chapter one. Oh, I was hoping I'd get to go see the doc and talk to him and then the uh, hello well. That's poopy. That was awful. Should I have stayed with her? <sighs> I don't know. Was this, was that the doc? I don't remember. Oh, that's my home. Great, so that's Unforeseen Incidents. If you guys liked what you saw, there'll be a link down in the description below. You can head on over to Steam. The game is $20, and from what I understand, it's about five to six hours long. I love the art style in this game. This is totally something I would play all the way through on my channel, but since I, I can't, I'll just be playing it in private. But that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.